starting from React 15.5, Facebook decided to made the package, the prop types into its own node module. So before to that, we had to access from the default uh, React input. And if you were lucky enough to just destructure and do a named import, then migrating to React 15.5 was just this line of code. So this makes things much more easy now, but we're now going to get rid even of that. So the first thing we have to do is we have to install flowbin and you can do it either by saying npm install dash dash save or we can do it globally with global it doesn't matter you just have to have it and in my case because i'm using create react app and it comes with yarn i'm just going to play safe and then do it with with yarn let's just install flowbin package And now that it's done, I'm going to go to my package.json and add one script, which says flow run flow. Okay, we're going to go ahead and run npm run flow in it. And what this command is going to do is going to create this file dot flow config, which flow needs to start running. And because create React app comes out of the box with all this setup for using Flow on the project, we're just making sure that our editor, that our IDE, uh, can read those type annotations and type check our code. Babel's internal settings of create React app will make the rest for us and will strip the type annotations when our code gets transpired, which is pretty awesome. All we have to do now is go to the file where we want to use flow and use this pretty and small annotation. And after adding this annotation, you will see that flow already starts complaining that you have props in your React component that they are not annotated. So we, we can now finally remove our import prop types from prop types and start typing our flow annotations. We're going to replace this with a type called button type get rid of all of these guys and of course adjust the flows syntax which is definitely not this one note here bool becomes boolean if not it will be turned into any and we definitely don't want that and now we can use our button type in our react component And now everything is tight. And this doesn't work because we have to be more explicit with flow. And our own click function, of course, is going to receive an event and to return nothing. So we you see that we can now even be more explicit. And the last thing it complains is, of course, this, because we don't want to use React built in prop types anymore. So now we save. We get rid of all the errors and you can see how easy it is to get rid of your prop types dependency with just using flow annotations in your create react app project